everybody, how's it going? This is Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. So I just tried for the first time pouring on some potters and I wanted to make a video about it because I had a couple people asking and I know I was kind of perplexed when I would see people posting these beautiful pots in the Facebook group. So as you can see here, now these are clay pots. The opening is about eight inches in diameter. And I did go ahead and coat both of these in a white house paint. We are gonna be using house paint today, bare house paint, and um, a little bit of Valspar house paint as well. But I just kinda wanted to prime these a little bit with something, and so I did white house paint. And then you can see here, this is my big gesso bottle. I'm gonna have the pot resting on this upside down, and then I have um, a tote bin cover that I have poured on before to catch all my paint. Same goes for this one over here. I have primed it with white paint and it is resting on a big old jug of um, resin that I had sitting around. Again, we're gonna get this in a nice spot here on my tote lid. Okay, now I am gonna take some blue painter's tape and I'm going to cover the hole in the bottom of the pot. Okay, so now we have these ready to go. Like I said, we're, I'm gonna use house paint today and I am making these for Mother's Day and my husband found out that my mother-in-law's favorite color is teal. So I think with hers, I'm gonna do kind of more greens, gardeny looking. Here I mixed up some teal. Beautiful house paint colors. Got a nice yellow here. It's a little runny, but uh, one thing that Angela in the Facebook group, who also has a YouTube channel, had mentioned she did a lovely blue pot and I asked her if she had any pointers and she said just make the paint a little thicker. And my house paint is always a little thicker so I thought, why not just use house paint? I feel like it's a little bit more durable especially if the person you give this to may have it outdoors, the pot. So these are mixed with uh, my homemade pouring medium which the recipe and the video to that will be in the description. And I did add a little bit of water, not too much though because like I said, I did want it to be a little bit thicker for this. And now I have two plastic cups. We're gonna do a flip cup with this today. Start with my white, both of these. And in that one I'm gonna do purple. Pink, another couple squirts of silicone, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, purple, and a little bit more of the white just to finish it. Okay, and this one I'm gonna do. And now because I have these placed on here, I am just gonna like really quickly flip the cup. Um, you can try to put something underneath it and then you know put it on here and pull that object out like the paper or if you're using a paint scraper, but this is not a totally level surface in here. It bevels in, so I just kind of really quickly, and you'll see some of the paint starting to come out already and that's okay, it's all right. We'll let it sit for a couple seconds, get all that paint down and out. Have a sip of coffee. It's a beautiful day in May here. I hope you all are enjoying lovely weather. While we're waiting, I'll just mention, come on over to the Facebook group and check it out. We got a really nice group over there. Facebook group is acrylic pouring and fluid painting. A lot of beginners, some people who have been doing this for a long time and we just share our knowledge and pictures of our artwork with each other and support each other. It's just a really nice group. I also have some cute apparel items for pouring artists. If you want to check out my store, 
www.spreezy.com slash dryer days. The link will also be in the description. Some really cute tanks and t-shirts and a canvas tote bag. And also um, I do have men's items as well. And uh, if you are a Patreon of mine and support me on Patreon, you will actually get discounts for that apparel and stuff, so. And obviously we're getting a lot of runoff. So I come through my tool, kind of get it up under that lip. And it's house paint. I always find house paint dries pretty quickly. So it'll start to dry where it is. We'll come back and see how they look. Hey guys, we're back. So these are dry now. Wanted to come in and show you. And I'll flip them over. It's nighttime now, so I know my lighting is a little different than earlier. But I am pretty happy with these. And they just make really nice gifts. They're fun to do with your kids if you have little ones. And here you can see the top, I pulled the tape off, so I had that taped off. And you know, you can tape like around here too if you wanna keep that really clean. Um, I didn't worry about it so much this time because I'm probably gonna use these and I'm gonna have dirt in there and plants and stuff, so I wasn't really worried about the lip, but you can tape that off and paint in there. Also, if you buy any of these trays for the water, I just sort of paint them a matching color. And there you have a nice little set. And with the green one, I did one in green and kind of painted the sides with some leftover paint. So just an at home, quick, crafty, handmade thing you can do with your kids. You make a nice gift. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Come over and check out that Facebook group that we have, Acrylic Pouring and Fluid Painting. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring. Mm -hmm.